Hi guys, my name is Masood. Uh, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys three simple hacks which you can use to make your life a little bit easier whilst you're studying to become a physiotherapist. Um, so these hacks are a little bit unorthodox, I must admit, but I promise from experience they've worked for me and I'm quite confident they will work for you as well. So enjoy and learn something new. Thank you. Alright guys, so the first hack that I'm going to tell you guys about is one that I've mentioned in the past. Um, it's actually going to make your life a lot easier whilst you're on placement and probably on other sort of assessments uh, if, you could pos if you wanted to use this tip as well. So when you're on placement, um, what I have done in the past and what's worked for me is I've used the PowerPoint slides that my lecturers have used uh, in, in, in lectures and seminars etc uh, as my own I've extracted some slides which have specific information and I've put them into my own PowerPoints when I'm presenting my end of placement uh, case study or presentation on like a specific uh, topic could be like Parkinson's disease or COPD perhaps wherever your placement is uh, try and use like a topic that you've done at uni uh, and use the slides from that to put into your presentation. It works really well as long as you're confident in the topic you're presenting. So make sure you really know your stuff because you kind of have to um, because your educator might ask you questions on specific pieces of research which you've included. And uh, so yeah, you better know what you're talking about. All right guys, so the second tip that I want to tell you guys, or the second hack actually, is really, again, quite unorthodox, but I'm sure it's one that has been done for ages. Um, and that's actually just uh, having a buddy in the year above. Now, the reason why you would you want to do this is not only to make a friend and uh, maintain a good relationship with other physios, um, but it's actually because I've found uh, in my experience where there's some uh, things or exams or written assignments that I've struggled with, uh, I have someone like a buddy in the year above who has gone through the same thing as me and can give me advice specifically to how to pass that assignment. And the reason why it works really well is because they've been through what you've been through and they know exactly what you need to get a specific grade or, or to just basically get through. Um, so yeah, try and, try and buddy up with someone. A good um, tip to do this is maybe like at the start of the year, uh, maybe just reach out to the people in the year above uh, via Facebook or if you see them around uh, in, the, in your building, just you know, uh, grab them and, and just say, hey, uh, how did you find uh, doing this is assignment. What did you think of it? Did you do anything different? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably I'm quite confident they would be happy to help uh, Just because they've been through that struggle as well. So they know how it feels All right guys last and final hack. So again another placement hack when you're on placement uh, Don't try and only stick with your educator try and be uh, friends with literally everyone in the department because uh, they're all gonna have something to say at the end of your placement. Um, there's definitely gonna be times where your educator is away and you're gonna be with other members of the MT MDT team. And uh, if you've built that good rapport with them and you've established a, a good relationship, they're more likely, much more likely to say something positive about you uh, when it comes to actually uh, grading your placement performance. So yeah. All right, guys, that was my video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it was valuable to you uh, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.